Hey, this is Coach Mark Wiggins coming at you again for the monthly newsletter with D1 Sports. And this month, I want to talk to you about helping your child recover from mistakes. Helping your child to recover from mistakes. Mistakes are going to happen. That's a part of growth and a part of learning. I would be concerned about any athlete if they were trying to get better at their sport and didn't make mistakes. Because you you really can't learn without making a mistake. The question becomes is how quickly will they recover from the mistakes and will they recognize that the mistakes are not final and they're not fatal. When young athletes make mistakes, there are a couple of places that they look. One, they look to the stands because we, the parent, are calling their names out and letting them know how we feel about it. And two, they're looking to the coach because the coach is calling out and letting them know how they feel about it. And so we now have an athlete who's looking to side views to people who are supposed to support him with information that could be critical and not negative, necessary, possible, but they don't know how to process. And let me add into the fact that chances are the young athlete is probably more critical on themselves than we as parents and coaches are. And let's understand that this criticism and self-criticism is a learned behavior. It's a learned behavior. They say things and repeat them things themselves that they hear us as parents and coaches say to them and say to other people and even what we say to ourselves. So if you're critical to yourself all day long, God, I can't believe I did that. That was so stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Trust and believe your children are hearing all of that. And they take that information, watch the situation, then assimilate it to what they've done, and that's how they judge whether or not they've been successful or not. Again, self-criticism is a learned behavior. It's also a crippling behavior for an athlete. In the game of basketball, there's no real time for dropping your head or looking sad or dropping your defense posture because when you do that, they're going the other direction. And that usually, as as they progress in skill level, that'll get them to the bench. So what we really need to have happen is for us as parents and support and coaches is a, a mechanism that helps our young player get over their mistake as quickly as possible. And the thing we talk about, I talk about a lot, it's called a mistake ritual. Now, mistake ritual is something that helps a young athlete or an athlete get physically and mentally back on track. Because the mistake ritual is something that you do over and over again to remind yourself that the mistake is not final nor fatal, but yet and still we need to correct it. But we can't get to it right now. So let's keep the game moving. So think about this. Your child, your child makes a mistake. They dribble out of bounds with their left hand. They're looking to stands to you, and as a parent, you're doing one of these numbers like. Then the coach is over the sideline doing like this, and he's like, what am I supposed to do now? How about if they look to the stands and they look to you and you give them one of these or some kind of similar gesture that you've made? And now the the player and the kid are now communicating, and the young player knows, okay, my parents still love me. They're not going to change my name. I still get to eat after the game. They look to the coach, and the coach has got their own symbol that they're making over there. And their teammates got their own mistake ritual. The mistake ritual allows an athlete to quickly get over the mistake and get past the emotion that is not the end of the world, and I need to keep it moving. Because as a, a coach, I want to make sure that my players are in control of themselves all the time. So my suggestion is to you as a parent, as support, as remember, as a sport parent, as a sport parent, is to find a great mistake ritual that you and your young player can have that's totally your own. That way, when they look to you wanting to make sure that you still love them, as opposed to giving that look like, really? You, really oh. Now they look at you and you kind of hit them with that, that thing that you guys made up, and they smile. And when they smile, it puts them back in control. And that's what we want our young players to be, in control of themselves physically, emotionally, and be in the game. Because if you lose your mental capacity to play, i tell you what's going to happen. As they progress in, in skill level and play, they're going to find themselves on the bench. So as a D1 Spartan parent, we want our children to play hard. Absolutely. We want them to fight, fight, fight. Yes. But more importantly, we want them to learn that A, mistakes are part of the game. B, the quicker you can get over your mistakes, the better off you'll be. And three, you cannot learn without making a mistake. And lastly, let them know we as parents still support our kids. Remember, make sure you tell your player that you are proud of them before the ball is thrown up. I'm Mark Wiggins. My time is up. 
Make sure that you follow me on my Twitter account at speakerman87, and there'll be more from me coming down the road. Let's go Spartans.